reel it in real slow on the bottom. It's like grandma reeling, just kind of. What, what's happening is these, these, uh, these net rigs and tubes are simulating a goby. And these guys, uh, okay. the bass are feeding on the bottom the goby. Hey everybody, welcome to our show this week. We are up in Sturgeon Bay with our good friend Lonnie Goldman. Hey Lonnie, I'll tell you what you called me the other day and said, hey, let's do a bass show. And I'm like, hey, I'm with you 100%, buddy. We've been fishing walleyes and doing walleye shows like crazy lately, and it's nice to do something different. You know, and one thing, Lonnie, you know, we've been fishing with you for quite a few years now, and I'm gonna get this fish in here. Fish here. Yep, yep. and. Uh, it's always exciting, and I love what you do, Lonnie, because, you know, if we're not fishing walleyes, we're fishing bass, and if we're not fishing bass, we're fishing pike. There's not much you don't fish up here. Bet you. I've been guiding. Uh, let's get this fish back. I've been guiding uh, up here just about every uh, day, every day now, and, and people are just taken away, and it's breathtaking, the beauty and the rock bluffs and uh, just the water and the, the trees, and it's, it's just gorgeous up here. Hey everybody, again, we're up here this week fishing with our good friend Lonnie Goldman up in Sturgeon Bay. And again, doing something that we haven't done in probably at least a good month, fishing smallmouth. And Lonnie, you know what? We're using several different techniques. We've got Chris from Badgerland Tires fishing with us today, and he's actually using a tube jig. Yeah. You're using a Ned rig, and I've got a paddle tail on. You've got a swim bait on. So here's what's going on. These bass right now are primarily feeding on goby. Okay. They're looking for the gobies. Chris was working a tube, dragging it along the bottom. I'm working a Ned rig along the bottom, trying to imitate a goby. And you're using a swim bait, an alewife, or a, a small shad. Okay. And they'll come up and grab that. So we're kind of, you've got a search bait, and we're kind of finesse fishing. And, and both have been working really well. That's awesome. Hey, everybody, hold on to your heinies. I got a feeling it's going to be one of them days, and I'm talking a good day. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you. You feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Nice job. Badgerland Tires, here we come, man. What do you got there? Decent fish? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah? You know, and I'll tell you what, Lonnie, when you're fishing up here, just, it's hard not to just, like, get mesmerized by the beauty of everything, too. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. Yeah, it's not a monster, but it's a nice yeah, three-pound starter. There's the first one of the day. Nice little average here. Now to catch another one. Oh my goodness, I told you not to bring him. All he does is catch fish, this well, guy. Give me the good bait. Yeah. The rumor is on Shano Lake that all you do is fish, 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 and not work, work, work. I don't that's know about the, that. That's the Shano Lake rumor. rumor. And I'll tell you something, Lonnie, remember oh, last going. winter, you and Chris in the big sturgeon? You put <laughs> oh, a yeah. grab on a sturgeon like I've never seen anybody grab a sturgeon. Yep, that, yeah. that was neat. There you go, another one, number two. Don't nice brag about it, okay? Pound. Yeah, I'm waiting for Larry to catch one. All right. Might be waiting a while, grab a well, snicker. Well, if it's like last time we filmed, <laughs> you might be waiting a while, that's right. <laughs> Puking out, he just puked out a big minnow. I'm gonna grab wow. I'm gonna grab the net okay. Net. You know, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, I love these mag rods too. Pat has done such an awesome job. You see that bait on the surface? He just puked that one out. It's an alewife. It is, huh? 
And you've got an alewife bait on. Ooh, that's a little chunk. That is a little pork chop. Are you talking to me or are you talking to fish? Well, I know you eat a lot of donuts and sun drops. There ain't no chunk here, buddy. <laughs> Maybe a little. Hey, Lonnie, I just put that long shank slow poke on there and first cast just smashed that bass. And I can see why this is so addicting. And I'm a big catcher and release kind of guy when it comes to bass or comes to walleyes. And I, that's one thing I love about muskie fishing. But to be able to come up here and catch 30 to 40 bass in a day, if not more, is that's incredible fishing. We've been doing really good. We've been getting 30 to 50 bass a day. I'm gonna let this guy go. Um, Swim baits, Ned rigs, tubes, uh, you got to kind of every day they're feeding a little different. Sometimes they're chasing shad and sometimes they're, they're fish feeding go on gobies on the bottom. So, Lonnie, let's show everybody at home really what kind of structure we're, we're looking for and what we're obviously fishing. Um, because when it comes to smallmouth, there's no doubt, just like walleyes a lot of times, you know, especially up on this part of the system, everything is keyed into some type of structure. Yeah, so we're fishing some islands up in Door County here. They, they call them the Strawberry Islands, but there's so many islands up here, the Sisters, the Hat Island, and uh, you get up Washington Island, and there's so many rocky shorelines, and breaks it's it's just that's why all these smallies are up here and it's uh, so good would you say that pretty much all the islands hold fish as far as smallmouth i mean obviously some are going to hold more than others it depends on what kind of structures down there and again you know they're they're keying into a lot of rock are they keying into any weeds at all or a little bit too deep for weeds primarily these wa bass up here they um they're keying in on uh rock you know they're okay. feeding on goby so you find the, find the high concentrations of goby, that's where they're at. They're in the rocks picking these gobies off. This time of the year, the bass like that 7 to 15 foot range. Okay. Those are kind of some transition areas where the rock is kind of starting to the, the drop off. And these gobies sit right on these rock edges or these slight edges. And uh, these bass in here are trying to pick the gobies off. So Larry and I were talking earlier about gobies, and this is actually a goby right here. This is what we call bass and walleye candy up here. They just love them. These uh, gobies live in the rocks, and this is what the bass are eating right here. Like I say, it's an excellent food source for these bass and walleye up here in Door County. Sheephead, my hiney, I'll tell hey, you that, that buddy. That's so violent. Whoa. We've been catching Whoa. sheephead, and I thought it was. I a haven't sheephead. been catching any sheephead. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Just a monster. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, look at that fish. Oh, that is. Oh, I'll bring him here. It's a monster. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That is a taint. Wow, that is something right there. I'll tell you what, you gotta love this fishing. Giant, oop, giant smallmouth, and he spit the bait too. Look at the size of this. Oh, wow, look at the size of that smallie. That is absolutely a tank. And I'm just kind of twitching that, that uh, plastic like that, and uh, just that's three in a row, just absolutely crushed that bait. And again, you know, Lonnie, I'm glad that you had me switch over because I do like a little bit faster, you know, retrieve a cadence, you know, works out better for just my, the way I am, you know. This is awesome, I'm loving this today. This really gets you pumped up, I'll tell you that. That's a big thing. Oh, right, I'll let this girl go. Hey everybody, I'm Larry Smith and welcome to a great new product here by Delco. Today we've got the new cruise air seat and I'll tell you, hey Mark, you guys really hit a home run on this. We've been running this in our Warrior 2121V here for the last couple weeks and talk about a great suspension. You've got lumbar support and you've got the bottom suspension here. And basically what you have here, Mark, is two air bladders into this seat, right? Right, right. And it's first of its kind on the market, Larry. It's patent pending. So you can infinitely adjust the seat bottom up to four inches 
and the seat back up to six inches for ultimate comfort and safety and lets you uh, be in the right position to control uh, the bolt when you're out on the water. What's right. the retail on this seat? Uh, the seat uh, with everything that you see here is about $900 to $1,000 okay. um, uh, for the complete seat. And that's um, a very competitive versus an ordinary seat. Uh, Cruiser uh, fits that. Let's talk real quick because I know people are going to be asking me for sure, what is the warranty on this? One year warranty. A one year warranty. Okay. Yep. Awesome. I yep. appreciate it, Mark. Thank Thanks, you Larry. very much for coming out today and obviously going through the Cruise Air product. Right. What another great product by Delco. Check it out. I'm telling you, we are on it today. I'm loving this for sure. You know what? What a great area again, Lonnie. I can't get over the action. You know, and I love this hands-on fishing where you're actually working the bait and you get to feel that smallmouth just absolutely smash it. Yeah, so we got two different uh, presentations going on. We got the Ned rig and the tube kind of dragging the bottom. And then we've also got the uh, you guys are working swim baits. Ooh, that's a nice fish. I'm starting to lose my voice already. Wow, Lonnie. <laughs> hey, Chris. What's happening back there? Right? Enjoying the day. Hey, some guy just called for some tires. I seen it was on your phone. Oh, are you kidding me? Darn it. Oh, my God. This is a hog. Ooh. This is a hog. That, oh, that's, oh that's, that's way over 20 some inches. That's a pig. Okay, oh, look at the head on that thing. Oh, oh, look at that. That thing is over six pounds. Oh my Lottie, god. Lonnie, that is a giant. It's Holy get, smokes. Oh, that is a tank. I'll help I'll help Chris out. Holy man, dude. Whoa, oh, nice jump. This is incredible small ball. Oh, look at the size of this one too. Oh, oh, one more, one more. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh. Hey, Lonnie, come on back here with yours right away. Let's show everybody. Holy man. Two absolutely hogs. That thing is like, ah, oh, man, oh, man. We just doubled up and uh, wow. we just doubled up and there's our double. That is, this is almost that's six incredible. Pounds. And that's a four and a half pounder. Look at the size difference. Yeah, that that is so impressive. Again, this is you a, know what? This is a 21, 21 and a half inch fish. When you measure. start talking smallmouth, there's no doubt that Schwamagon Bay and Sturgeon Bay are world class smallmouth fisheries. Incredible. Yeah, these are big fish. We are so lucky to have these fisheries. I'll tell you what. And what a fun way, you know, get out here and enjoy the outdoors. That's what we preach on this show. And that's why. Look at that. Yeah, just uh, dragging that Ned uh, rig along the bottom, guys. Uh, another like three and a half pounder, almost four. A Ned rig is just a little lead head with a, a hook and a, a little bait that actually, it's got a, a floaty plastic. It actually sits on the bottom like this. And when you drag it, it helps, pops back up.
So I see that quite often, guys, overfish a bait, where with a Ned rig, which is more of a slower presentation, uh, a finesse presentation, a tube, a Ned rig, um, you want to slow it down and just drag it along the bottom really is the uh, key feature on that fishing that bait. And I know you're fishing more of a swim bait, uh, imitating an alewife. Did you see that bass we caught earlier that had the big uh, four to five inch uh, alewife that came out of it? And uh, these alewives have been up in this warmer water spawning here uh, this later spring, early summer. And these bass are gorging on uh, alewives. So that swim bait, it's actually an alewife pattern. So. so, and that's the key to anything when you're fishing, especially like we're fishing smallmouth, you want to match what the fish are eating. So you're matching a goby. Chris has got a, a tube jig on yep. uh, and he's matching either a crayfish or a goby. Yep. And then I'm matching the alewife. Correct. Okay, so let's talk to a little bit about technique as far as what, what's, what rod, if a guy's looking at going smallmouth fishing and doing what we're doing today, what length of rod and action of rod should he use? Right now I like, uh, for more finesse fishing, I'm really digging this 7.2 uh, medium white by Mags. Pat makes great rods up he there does. in Michigan. We got to know Pat, uh, Pat through the show the last couple of years. And he's just a great guy. He is. He's busting his butt up there cranking these rods. <laughs> he does a good. And, and he's, 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 he just told me the other day he was so slammed with orders, but uh, that's good for him. It is. And these rods are awesome. I know I get a lot of guys in the boat and they get this rod in their hand and they're like, oh my they God, will. how white they are. You want to spoil yourself once in a while. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, let's hook up and get another one. Chris. Whoa, a jumper. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. That's a nice fish there, big time. Lonnie's going to give him the grab. Nice. Hey, Chris, I'll tell you what, that's another great smallmouth. Let's get that one back in the water. You know, that wind started picking up a little bit, and definitely these fish turned right back on. And speaking of turning right back on, hey, you know, you sell used and new tires. Yes, sir. And basically, you have three facilities. Let's tell everybody where they're all at. Appleton, Oshkosh, and Shano. That sounds awesome. And if they want to get a hold of you, how can they do it? Uh, you can call my cell or get a hold of the shops. We are on the Facebook, uh, Badgerland Tire. And that, that's the best way to get a hold of us. If you want a great deal on tires, new or used, make sure you give Chris a call and make sure you tell him that we sent you. We're hooked up, brother. What a bunch of fun. You know, Larry, we smacked them around good today, didn't we? We did. You know, and the key to being able to come out here, Lonnie, and catching these fish consistently is probably the most important thing is catch and release. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, catch and release is huge to these uh, big smallies. You know, they're 12, 15 year old fish. Bottom line is just catch and release it and uh, let these fish grow and. Uh, uh, let them go, let them grow. Let them go, let them grow. Like Larry was saying, you know, it's good to release these fish. These fish are anywhere from 8, 10, 12, 15 years old. Let them go, let them grow, let everyone enjoy the, the future of uh, smallmouth bass fishing in Door County, Wisconsin. Hey Lonnie, let's talk real quick about what was actually working for us today. I've got the top three baits here that definitely worked. We tried a lot of different things, but we definitely got three main things that, I mean, they were dialed. And basically, a tube that was definitely Chris's hot bait for today. Yeah, we dragged the tube along the bottom. Uh, worked really well, imitating a goby. Uh, really slow. Slow was key. Okay, and for me, it definitely was the swim jig. Uh, this morning when the wind was blowing, uh, there was a little bit more turbulence in the water. The swim jig definitely worked real well. And the, basically what I was using as a slow poke jig of the LS series, um, I was using between an eighth and a quarter, depending on how deep we were fishing and how much wind there was. And I was working it a little bit more aggressively, really shaking it a lot. And you can see on the footage here how I was doing it and it was definitely key for me. But once that wind died down, I got lockjaw. So for you, definitely you had it going heavy on the Ned Rigs. Yeah, so Ned Rig was almost the same as a tube. Just, uh, this is the Ned Rig. And the thing about a Ned Rig, it actually floats. And it had lead head, the uh, eighth ounce, quarter ounce lead head, mostly eighth ounce I like, will sit like this on the bottom and I just slowly drag it back. 
or this way, and it'll let it sit, drag it, let it sit, and it was deadly. Uh, we had a lot of fish today. And the key for you, Lonnie, I was watching you. Typically, I always like to have my rod tip up in the air, but you definitely had your rod tip low, and that was working for sure. I liked it low, and I just reeled it in slow and pause it once in a while, and uh, they couldn't resist. Hey, everybody, them are the top rigs we use today. Hope you guys have the same success with it. And remember, and what a great place to come, the Bay of Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay, giant small mold. Hey everybody, what an amazing day we had today. Lonnie, I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the top two or three smallmouth trips I've ever been on in my life. As far as numbers and big fish, you did an absolutely awesome job. Hey Chris, we wanna thank you again for your sponsorship here at Larry Smith Outdoors. You know if you guys are looking for some tires, make sure you give Chris a call over at Badgerland Tires. Hey, make sure that you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's huge, we put new things on there every day so it's a really good deal all you got to do is go to larry smith outdoors and subscribe to our youtube channel but most of all make sure you give our good friend lonnie goldman a call and tell him lonnie how to do it check us out at uh, www.greenbaytrophyfishing.com or go to our facebook page at green bay fishing green bay trophy fishing or give me a holler at 920-304-0282 and we'll be on these big smallies all summer, July and August, as well as walleye packages here up, up here on Green Bay. That's absolutely awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys. Remember, the most important things of life is get your kids and get yourself outdoors and enjoy it while you can. And remember, be always be proud to be an American. And remember, like I say, it, it's a great day to be alive. Why are you saying it? I know my mom told me not to talk with food in my mouth, but is my mom here? Not at all. Yep. Let me do the whole thing over. <clears throat> Along the rocks as we're trying to mimic them. A blind Hooked squirrel up. found a nut. Hooked up. No way. You don't want me to oh, net it's it off. Oh, 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 you lost oh, it. You lost it. Oh, that's just too bad. Oh, oh my heart's beast. broke. Tear, tear. Oh, too bad, Chris.